Hello and thanks for watching Gary Teaches Maths. I'm continuing to go through the Excel 2019 GCSE higher tier paper. This is paper one and it's the non calculator paper and we're on question 16. So it says here that we've got three dials and a combination lock and each dial can be set to one of these numbers one, two, three, four, and five. So um, an example would be a three digit number 553 is one of the ways the dials could be set but each one of these dials could be set as any of these numbers one two three four and five so work out the number of different three digit numbers that can be set for the combination lock well we can see that the first one on the on there the dial can be set in five different ways and the second dial can also be set in five different ways so we can multiply them two together and the third dial also can be set in five different ways so all we have to do is multiply five times five times five which gives us 125 and that is the total number of different combinations we can get from this lock 125 simply by multiplying the digits on each one together so five times five times five the second part we're asked how many of the possible three digit numbers could have three different digits so by that we mean say 555 five, five wouldn't count that would be no good but 123 is an example where each of the dials has a different number so that would be okay so we're being asked to find how many ways we could arrange this so that each digit on each one of these dials was different so we could do a little table just to illustrate this we could say well if we've got dial one dial two and dial three we can see that for the first dial because neither the second and third dials have been set we've actually got five options because we could have one two three four or five so we've got five options for that so five choices but imagine we'd picked one on the first dial, then we couldn't pick one on the second dial, so that would be no good. So we'd only be limited to two, three, four, or five. So we've got four choices there. And that happens, whichever one of the numbers had come up on the first dial, we'd still be limited to four choices on the second dial. So now imagine we pick another number on the second dial, pick two, that means we could no longer have one or two on the first dial. We could only have three, four, or five. So that means we've got three choices on the third dial. So the total number of options is actually five times four times three. So that gives us five times four being 20, times three equals 60 and that's it we've done it the 60 possible three digit numbers from these dials that have three different digits i hope that's been helpful to you if it has we'd love it if you could like our video and subscribe to our channel and for more help please look at our website which is bestmathstutors.co.uk thanks for watching